Do you want me to say what's about to happen? Uh. So there's one Bacardi Breezer left in the fridge that somebody left here the other night. And I've decided I'm going to quickly down it. One, because I need fluid to pee. <laughs> and two, it might be the last alcoholic drink that I drink for nine months. I've been sober and healthy for so long that I've decided I want to feel how it feels like to be hungover. So I'm at the McDonald's drive through I'm getting what I'd normally get when I was hungover. It's um, a cheeseburger with lettuce and mayo, a small fries, and a cream soda. This is a once off. Brent, I thought I need spoils. Welcome to my little journey of being Preggy J and welcome back to my channel. Um, just want to wish you all a fabulous Happy New Year, obviously. <laughs> welcome to 2017. I hope your year is going to be as adventurous, exciting as ours. Obviously, we've got baby Jalen on the way that um, we're very excited about starting to get there. As much as it's nerve-wracking and stressful, um, yeah, it's starting, the shit's getting real and um, the bomb showing the scans, she's looking adorable. Um, felt a kick the other night for the first time, got that whole butterfly feeling that everybody kept telling me about. It truly is amazing and since then I've just been like very, very excited. Yay! I have to wait for the 20 week scan, which is in two weeks' time, and then I can start shopping pink. Ricardo still in an hour, but hey, he'll get over it. Seems like really it's a girl. Do you have the picture? I, I do have it here. But we're still going. You know, how many weeks? In three weeks, we're still in three weeks. We're still going to the real deal scan. And then I can start shopping. So obviously we went through the big festive season, Christmas, New Year, parties everywhere and the question that most people kept asking me, people, my friends that know me know that I do love a good glass of wine or two or three or whatever. And um, the main question was, you know, how are you coping and you know, what a shit time of the freaking year to be pregnant and not being able to be able to be festive. Honestly, it's not been as hard as what I thought. There is nothing to explain. I'm a fucking black beetle cream seats in the regal rocket John Lennon lenses like to see him spread. Eagle took a bitch to the club and let a party on the table screaming. Everybody's famous. Like clockwork, I blow it all. I think mentally you're just like, you know, I'm pregnant, I can't drink. And and it's okay. It's um it's been okay. Ricardo's been a, a gem and he kind of gave up, or he did give up drinking with me. So that makes life a little bit easier. Um, going out, I mean, every now and then when I really feel like it, you can go and order a strawberry daiquiri virgin or a virgin mojito. Um, when we go to brides and things, you get those non-alcoholic beers. Obviously, you want to be lying by the pool, having a bride, cracker ice cold beer. There is nothing like it. Um, so we buy a couple of those, but most of the time I just, um, I drink iced tea, I make my own homemade iced tea, buy the jugs, um, every day I make a new jug because I drink liters of that. I drink, I used to drink a lot of water, I drink about, even more now, I drink two to three to four liters of water, I'm quite dehydrated most of the time. Um, yeah, and it's been okay. We've been to a wedding. Um, that was still when I was just getting into my second semester, trimester, semester, whatever. But like, starting to get my energy back. Dude, I partied like a fucking rock star. <laughs> the next day I could move my neck. <laughs> um... Yeah, getting old, being sober. Um, yeah, so there was that. Christmas was fine. Got through it, as I said, with the non-alcoholic things. New Year's Eve was a little bit different. It's 
gonna be fun. Don't forget the non-alcoholic champagne. A must. But it was not for the fact, so we didn't go out. We ended up watching 12 episodes um, of Pretty Little Liars. I got Ricardo into it and um, yeah, that's what we did all night. It was just me and him and the, and the furries and a bottle of non-alcoholic champagne. And we were very happy to do that. For one, I've never been a big fan of New Year's Eve. Everything's so expensive, everything's crazy. It's such a big build up, everything's so fucking disappointing. Um, yeah, so like normally we would just go to a bra or anything, but we also didn't feel like driving. We were a bit scared um, of driving on the night, so we left that. But yeah, I think the non-drinking thing for me, oh, and then everyone's like, oh, you know, you're allowed to have a glass of red wine every day or, you know, champagne, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, my thing is just like, you know what, this is the only time in my life that I'm not going to drink and I can prove to myself that I'm not going to drink. So I'm going all out, balls to the walls, no alcohol. The day this baby's out, that's a different story. Then everyone's like, yeah, but then you got to breastfeed. I was like, yeah, but champagne helps for breastfeeding. Like, they actually tell you that champagne is good. So, hello. Um, so if you do come visit me or come see the baby or whatever, um, and you don't know what to bring, a bottle of champagne would be amazing. Alcoholic champagne, thank you. Um, and yeah, so that is non-drinking with Preggy J. Exciting times. Six more months, six, five and a half more months to go. And my skin's looking amazing, it's healthy. I've lost weight from not drinking even though I'm knocked up and have the baby belly the rest of my body is like looking so much better for not drinking so as much as I don't want to admit it alcohol is going fucking evil <laughs> so I'm feeling good my headspace is amazing you know sometimes like if you've had a heavy week of drinking or whatever your headspace can be all over the place especially getting older that and you know how great it feels waking up in the morning and especially when we've been partying with people and they're like, Wah. and I'm like, hi, <laughs> at half past six in the morning, hi, <laughs> coffee. Um, so yeah, that feels pretty cool. Um, we'll see how long that lasts. So yeah, non-drinking all the way. Boom, let's do this. So in the next couple of weeks, we'll be covering some topics like how to get the pregnant glow without being pregnant. Um, obviously makeup tips. And we'll be doing cooking in the kitchen with Preggy J. Um, we'll also be a little bit of wardrobe assisting, wardrobe planning, how to dress for the pregnant bump. Um, and then, yeah, I've also got a little fitness video. Quite excited about that one. <laughs> we'll be coming out. So if you want to follow my journey, Preggy J, press subscribe down there. Thanks. Bye.